They did it. They made it so you can now have three blocks that float around you. And this is making me really wonder, can I go to fire? This is hot up. This is... <laughs> and get... Oh. My. G bro. No. Freaking... And now go to air. And then... Hey guys, and welcome back to Avatar Age of the Blood Moon. If you can't tell from the bottom right of the screen, we have the brand new update for Avatar mod here with us with new features, new looks and everything. We have shown this off a little bit in the past, but today I'm going to be showing it all off to you guys and unlocking all my abilities again, because as you can see here, they're, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not unlocked at all. And if you're a super smart cookie, you would have actually seen that water and ice are missing. They're gone. Where did they go? Uh, well, they're just actually super buggy. This is actually the alpha for the next update, which will be releasing very, very soon. But there's no, no still set time yet. For now, this is out because all the other elements are actually working and water is being a little bit of a pain in the butt. And considering how much of a pain in the ass water has been, favorite dragon decided to you know, just pull a Fire Nation and completely kill all water bending. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, the whole reason it's not in the game is literally just because it's a bit buggy, which is fine. All the elements actually are working except for water, of course. So hence why it's not actually here. So what I'm going to do is just show every single element to you guys because they all look amazing now, except for the sub bending. Those ones are still pretty much the same, but every other bending, air, earth and fire look incredible. And I have to show them. And of of course it has to rain. Before we actually jump into showing all of these amazing elements effects, I've got to show you guys something else that is finally pretty much done. It's all working. It just needs to be decorated. And if you can see over my head, you know what I'm talking about. I have finally finished the item sorting room. All of this is ready and works. Every single one, as you can see here, is up and going. It looks insane. Like just... Looking at this, looks awesome, man. I really like it. Hold up, there we go, and there we are. Now, you guys are getting a little bit of a preview of the air bending, but dude, this took way too long. This took forever to make all the things needed for it, and I've gone through pretty much all of my wood. Luckily, I, I chose the smart opinion of using cobblestone for all the blocks because, gosh damn, that made it so much easier. And using my technique that I discovered at the end of last video, I think it was, where I make sure I place the cobblestone, then the slabs, and then the, the compress, oh, not compressors, the dispensers, or I think those are droppers. I don't know what they are. The hoppers and the chest first, because they're all blocks, and then place the redstone. The redstone actually gets placed correctly, and it works. And it, I'm so happy with it, man. And yeah, I need to decorate this area, but that's where you guys come in. I want you guys to give me ideas for what you think this room should look like. What do you guys think I should do? Like the floor design, roof design. I want you guys coming up with ideas for this area because this is going to be a huge area that I know a lot of people, especially when we open this surfer up for the wall, are going to want to probably run down to and just check it out. So let me know any ideas you have down in the comment section. But for now, this is all done, complete, and I can finally leave it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we even jump into the elements, I need to ask you guys one simple thing. Are you subscribed? <laughs> because if you are not, I'm trying to hit 100K before the end of the year. And if you've gotten this far in this video, then I'm sure you're gonna enjoy all the rest of the videos that I upload. And heck, if you watch my videos and aren't subscribed, what are you doing? I upload pretty much daily now, so make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you wanna be an absolute legend and go down in history on my channel, then make sure you click that notification bell because then you can say you're one of the first to see my videos, <laughs> which is, an awesome thing apparently to do considering everyone does it in the comment section. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. Let's try and hit 100K before the end of the year. Anyway, let's just, let's just get back to the video now. Now you probably noticed, I actually am not jumping that high with my air bending. That's because all of my elements got reset back to zero, which I showed you guys just a second ago. So if I go into here, all of my elements are back at level one. I'm not gonna go through every single one again in, and legitly do this because, well, They'll take forever. And I also want to save that for when we actually do have another series on the Avatar mod with this new version. So instead, what I'm going to do is show you guys all the new things at level one and then go straight to level four and show you guys the change. And then after we've done that, because we are going to be using this firebending with our fight against Nathan next video, we are also going to go off and hunt a few more dragons because we want to try and get a dragon forge constructed and put in the air temple. That is the goal of this video. 
already quite a bit in this video to take in. So let's head over to the land because it is about to go dark. So let's head over there and actually show off all of these new elements, starting with air and the amazing effects it has. First things first, air jump. Air, now I will say air is actually the one that's gotten a more realistic look. You've probably, if you've seen the video of Nathan and I having our first or second firebending fight that didn't really work, you would have seen some of this, but man, this airbending is cool. And it's even cooler now because air gliders are actually in the game and work with airbending. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, didn't I? Air gliders, they're in the game. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> now I have every ability set. I have the air gust, which... I will say these look insane. The spinning on that looks freaking awesome, dude. Look at that, that looks so cool. Just remember these are all level one as well. So let's go and find a quick mob. Ah, uh, here we go. And yoink. As you can see, they just get pushed back. Air blades look awesome again. There's a cooldown on everything now. Every ability has actually been given a bit of a nerf until you level it up. And as you can see, it's making you rely on using more than just one ability spamming it. Because if I spam air blade, it kind of, it just doesn't really do anything. So I have to actually utilize more abilities. So that is the air push or air gust and air blade. Next up is the air bubble, which as you can see here, looks pretty much the same, but it has a few different particles around it. And it has obviously different, oh, I just clicked the wrong one, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> it has a few different particles around it. And then we have the air gust, which of course it has a cooldown. But then we have the air gust bubble thing, which we can charge and uh-oh. Bang! <laughs> Bro, I love the look of these moves. They look so cool, man. Of course, we have the air ball as well, which isn't anything special, but combining it with like the air blade, it can make for you to actually have a proper airbending fights, which are cool. And I'm excited to actually, maybe if you guys want to see it, have more fights with Nathan using this version of the mod. Ignore the arrow in the back of my head. Now I'm going to level up all of the airbending and show it off at its max power just because you can really see the difference. So let's quickly give myself all the max airbending abilities and then I'll show you guys airbending and then we'll probably do firebending. I actually noticed while doing this, some of the abilities are different. We still have the dragon claw, which sh shoots five small air blades, but then we also have the boomer ang, which I don't know if we had, it creates a horizontal spinning air blade that returns to you. I want that. That sounds awesome. So I'm just uh, the reason I want to cut in here is letting you guys know you can still get the original, but there's also this really cool one, which I really, I don't know if it was even in the original, the other version. So I want to test it out. I really want to see what that looks like. There we go, guys. We have all of our airbending abilities set to max now. So let's show them off quickly, starting with the one that I literally just talked about being the air rank. Oh, well, that's a bad start to it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? Is it actually, is it actually broken? Holy crap. Okay. I don't think it's broken. I just think I was too close. Wow. All right. Eh. Holy crap, man. That is so cool. We've also got the air jump, which is pretty much the same. It just has its new look and you can't spam it. Oh crap. But you can actually double jump, of course. And it works. Ha ha. Oh, that's so cool. Then we've got the air push. Three creepers. All right, let's yoink. Oh shit. <laughs> can I? Oh my God, bro. You can almost spam this one. This one is insane. Hold up. So yoink. Oh shit, that is so cool. Whoop. I love the effects for these, man. And then of course we have split stream, which is walk on air, which actually gives you a particle effect now. You know, it looks pretty much the same. Nothing really major there. We've got air bubble, which I actually have to wait for. God damn it. Air bubble, which of course allows me to float and I can still bang, explode it. But one cool thing about that, you can actually now combine it with the other elements, giving you that avatar feel of having all the elements surround you in a ball. It's so cool. And I'll show you guys once I show off the other two elements. We have, of course, the suck in ability and whoop, explode, which does lag the game a little bit. And I think the last one is this. Yeah, that burst, nothing major, but that is all of the airbending abilities and they look cool. But the other two, I, I personally think have probably gotten the best overhauls, especially firebending. So we're definitely jumping into fire next. Now, why is fire so cool now? You might recognize this little icon as flame punch, but no, now it is so cool. I don't think I actually have much, oh, is it because it's raining? There we go. It's literally because it was raining, but now, dude, now you send out flames in straight in front of you, like your fist is on fire and then bang, bro, that is so cool. You actually have to left click and then right click as well. This is now, well, if I let it charge back up again, hold on, there we go. It is now 
pretty much working. You just need to be close to them. Last time when Nathan and I used this, it was very buggy, obviously, because it was still in its alpha. But man, this is hands down one of my new favorite abilities. It is just so cool, bro. I love that. I'm sorry, Ostrich I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ostrich Horse. I'm sorry, bro. The next one is also a new ability, being Fire Shot. This one is literally just one shot of fire. Wait, oh, how did I miss that? There we go. I was making sure it actually worked, and it does. And bro, you can be... Oh, man, you can be really busted with this. You can get food so quickly. I feel bad. But hey, I'm not an air nomad currently. <laughs> I have to be a firebender. The other one is now Fire Jump, which is no longer Fire Jump. It is now Flame Glide. And yes, that is like Ozai's ability he uses when he goes to fight Aang. When you jump, you now glide in the air. Now, remember, this is all level one. I haven't seen what this looks like at max level yet. And might I say, bro, it is probably one of my new favorite things. And it makes firebending different. Like it makes the flame jump glide different from the air jump. The air jump is actually a height thing. And usually the fire jump was also used for distance, but you could use air for that as well. Now... This is definitely a glide distance thing. Like you can get across some serious gaps with that and you are so fast, man. That is freaking awesome. I love it. Of course, there's still the usual stuff like flamethrower, which if I just quickly go over to this chicken, as you can see, yeah. Yeah, it does that. And if you are wondering, I don't have Optifine installed, but if you did and used all these abilities, they'd actually light up the area and work with shaders, which is kind of cool to say. Like, that is kind of cool, man. That is awesome. Of course, there's still Fireball, which is pretty simple, but now it has its brand new effects looking amazing. Uh, it also has a pretty big cooldown, but man, the, the effects make this new update insane. Like, seriously, I don't know how they managed to actually make these effects in Minecraft. Like, obviously, the square thing looks kind of cool, but then when you see the, the flame, dude. Now, that is some intense particles. I love it. Obviously, the last one is also Emulate, which... Still sets you on fire, but now you have this new particle effect around you. I knew it. I knew it. Fire is the one that definitely has it the most. As you can see here, Flame Burst, which is more of a Phoenix King type thing, where you move extremely fast and short dashes from fire, but shock waves upon starting and stopping lower cooldown. But then Flying Dragon. So you can either pick the dragon, which is multicolored rainbow fire, or just normal straight up heavy fire bending, which is more Phoenix King type thing. I'm going to go with the dragon stuff because they just sound awesome. But if you want to check out these ones for yourself, make sure you go into the description of this video and go download this mod. So let's let's get all the dragon stuff. Man, they really make the Phoenix one sound so much cooler. Piercing arcs of flame, shoot from your fist, set fire to things and smell everything. Or dragon's wrath, the short explosions of multicolored consistent fire. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I'm going to go dragon because I said I would. But man, they really make the Phoenix stuff tempting. <laughs> Oh yeah, holy crap, that is actually something I completely forgot. No, three, two, one. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Earth, actually does air have it as well? No, air doesn't have it, but to make it kind of fair, Earth now has Earth redirect and fire has fire redirect, which could make fire bending matches insane. Redirect or destroy incoming fire, not visible in your, uh, your reticle menu or next to your crossbar, but it happens. It's kind of like the lightning redirection. That is so cool. I'm not going to level this up because I don't know if it does anything, but okay, it actually does. If you level it up more, it will actually, okay, it does more things. Huh. Might look into that when Nathan and I actually have our firebending fight. There we go. All of our firebending is set to max, and this is insane. We now have dragon's fire, which as you can see, my fist is rainbow, and then, bro, that is so bright on the screen. Holy crap. And I could do three. I forgot I could do three punches. It does take a little bit to charge, but as you can see, one, two, and sometimes I could do three, I guess. All right, <laughs> whatever. One of the other insane ones is the fire shot, which now sets fire to the ground and bounces off of it. So it's like a multi-projectile thing. Bro, it just looks awesome. Oh shit, I love this so much. This is so cool. Oh, I, lo I love this, this is awesome. Of course we have flamethrower, which is now just flamethrower with rainbow, which looks incredible because of the dragon's breath. But hold up, how much damage does this do? Okay, yo, wow, so he actually has nerfed. Man, beating all the bosses with bending now would be so difficult. Now, oh no, Enderman's after me. Good time to use fate. Okay, flying dragon. Bro, that lasted forever. Oh man, the Enderman's still after me. The Enderman's still after me. How do I go? Uh, C. No, it's done. Cool down. God damn it. And yoink. Suck it, Enderman. 
<laughs> he's still after me. Okay, he's still after me. All right, let's uh test out some of these abilities. Please, charge. Oh shit, oh shit. Part of me thinks I should hop in like game mode one just because my recharge runs out so quick, which is, which is showing me that this is actually gonna be so difficult to utilize in the future against bosses and things. Cause this is leveled up to the max, which does insane damage, but man, your key drains so quickly, bro. Oh crap. There we go, we also have fireball, which I think I can summon three of. Bro, this looks awesome. <laughs> I've had to jump into creative mode because, gosh dang it, bro. My Yeah, my, my chi was running out way too quick. So what we're gonna do now is because the only one left is emulate and that's pretty much the same, but now we've rainbow fire. <laughs> so that's pretty much the same. It does speed you up, heals you and all that kind of stuff, all that good stuff. Next up, we're gonna jump into earth bending, which has got small changes. But as you can see, Earth redirection, it's its there. It does its thing. Apparently it actually does redirect blocks, which is so cool. And I really want to have an Earth bending match against Nathan again, just to test it. But what we're going to do, instead of actually just showing all these at level one and going straight to level five, we're just going to go straight to level five straight off the bat. Because yeah, they, they, they're very small changes. But as you can see, you could probably already tell one if you haven't been paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, that's right the blocks don't break anymore. That is awesome. And not just that, but also like Ravine now has a brand new animation. And I know I just said that would cut straight to level five, but considering I'm in, I'm in creative, I can automatically show all these at level one. And dude, they look insane. Earth wall, again, it hasn't really changed much. It's pretty much the same. But then there's small stuff like earth spikes, which now actually, oh, what's this? Oh, you need to be earth bending. There we go. You actually need to look at where it comes out and it has a sick animation. And of course you need to be in the range, but as you can see, you control it now. Instead of just looking and doing it, you actually control where you want it, where you want it to come out. It, it, it's slightly different, but it's so cool. I don't know. I really like that. They're all set to max now, and as you can see here, they did it. They made it so you can now have three blocks float around you. And this is making me really wonder: Can I go to fire? This is hot up. This is <laughs> and get oh. My, G bro, no, freaking, and now gonna air, and then, oh shit, yo! <laughs> I'm keen for when, okay, I wanna say, I obviously, if favorite dragon, if you're watching this or any other mod developers working on the avatar mod, can you make it? I don't know how hard it would be, but when you use more of the blocks, like as you can see, the fire and the earth are clipping through each other. Looks amazing. But can you have it sort of like rotates on an angle, like a directional or like like this way, like on a corner type thing instead of side to side, even up, up, down. I don't know. It just looks amazing like this though. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Dude, this makes you feel busted AF. And then you can just, <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Okay, <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this quite a bit. Of course, that is literally just earth control. You can pick up the blocks and you can carry up to three. And of course, as before, you could throw all of them and they'll always return to you. So yeah, you could be pretty busted with how many earth blocks you have. And just like I showed you guys before, you can also throw it at things and they'll be actually used as projectiles. Man, that is so cool. Next up's Ravine. I don't know what the level, the max version of this does. I think it just, oh sh, bro. <laughs> I am in love with these new animations, bro. Look how far that goes. Holy shiz balls, dude. That is insane. Oh, I like that. Oh man, it does, it does glitch you out a little bit and you fall through the ground, but that is so cool. Bro, I, okay, I think, I think Earth actually might be taking the number one spot currently of like my new favorite looking element. I don't think walls changed because you can still, oh, ah, uh, I'm still hitting the, okay, well, I'm not seeing where any of those blocks went except for that one. <laughs> so I don't know if that one's a little bit buggy. Next one I'm very curious about, Earth spikes. Oh, Bro, that looks so cool. The animations for that. Wait, how far can I look? Oh my God. And it just does it around you. Oh, that is freaking awesome, dude. Oh, I love that little, just the spike animation of it coming up looks insane. That is so cool. Wait, wait, can I actually control where, how it goes? So like that? 
Oh, that, uh, hold up, that one actually bugged out. So spikes and that. Does this work? I don't know if that works. I think it just goes in a straight line. That is still really freaking cool. Last thing for Earth is, of course, restore, which, yeah, it's just restore. No biggie, but I, I don't think I can get over the fact of having this ability, man, and then also going to fire, having the fireball spin around, and then also going to air, and having the actual air bubble. Bro, I cannot get over this. Let look at how cool this looks, man. Oh, crap. We're so close to getting that full avatar shot. When water comes in, I really hope there's an ability of water that allows you to do this as well. That is awesome. All right, what we're going to do now is jump back into survival mode and actually go hunting for a dragon and take it on using our brand new elements. I want to use earth because earth seems like the best. Seems still like it's the same as it used to be, being super powerful, but also at the same time, it looks amazing now. So we're probably going to go hunting for a dragon and we'll try every, you know, we'll try every element during the fight and just see how we go. Oh, and you didn't think I'd forget something. You didn't think I'd forget this, did you? <laughs> I am not forgetting to showcase this. Before we enter the dragon, as you can see here, we have got the glider, which is awesome. It is still buggy. When you go in F5, as you can see with entities and stuff like that, but in first person, it is all working, no bugs at all now. And if you're wondering how does this work, I'm pretty sure because this is the orange glider, this isn't the master glider, there are two, there's the master and this one. I'm pretty sure how it works is if I use my air jump, as you can see, I can get some height off of that. Or I think I can maybe just look up. No, okay, that must be the master glider. Cause yeah, there's one that allows you to actually travel throughout the air super quick and super easy. And yeah, bro. Oh, this is so cool. There is apparently ways to speed it up and everything. Like you can drop down, even though I have slow falling, it doesn't quite work. But, ah, oh, man, I love this glider. This glider is so cool. It is different to the Elytra. And I, I don't know, man, I think it's awesome. It is a little bit glitchy, but I'll also show while I'm at it. You know, I'll show the Master Glider just so you guys see what it does. So now that we have the Master Glider, I also have put on Elytra so we can maybe combo it. So hold up. So let's put that on. I cannot... Wait. You can't use the glider while wearing an elytra. Oh man, that sucks. All right, here we go. It's open. And as you can see, it is more resembling the final glider that Aang actually gets, but it's more its more just a black glider, which I think looks awesome. So jump off. And as you can see here, we are, we are already so much quicker and we can look up. And as you can see here, bro, we could fly straight up to the top of our air temple and then just jump off. This is why I, would, I wish you could put the glider, like, man, imagine being able to let go and just open up your elytra and land. Ah, but still, just being able to do this, man. I think there is a way. Oh, man, that is so buggy, that little glitch there. But I think there is a way to actually get it so you can, like, dive bomb and stuff. I don't quite know. So maybe I could figure that out in the future. But, bro, this just looks insane. This actually does look amazing. I love it so much, man. Just, ah, so cool. What happens if we add air jump to it? Oh, it's literally just a boost. Okay, that's cool. Let's go find a dragon and actually take it down. Oh, before we actually do that, I will show you if you swap between different elements. So like now I'm earth and look up. As you can see, I'm not going up anymore. It's just acting like a sl slow glider. So you actually have to have air selected and then you can control where you go and everything, which is kind of cool. I like that. Bro, this just, this is so cool, man. This is so freaking cool. <laughs> I just want to watch it in like F5 because, oh man. Ah, oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. You can just take straight back off. I love this. I love this. And also I realized why I wasn't going down. It's literally because I had my feather, my golden feather and regeneration stone. I could, I, I could probably chuck my regeneration stone back on, but yeah, because I have my golden feather, it had slow falling. So it didn't work. Ah, oh, bro, this is so cool. I love it. I love this so much. Oh, split stream is how you boost. Oh, okay. Look how much quicker we're going currently. Holy crap. So yeah, if you use split stream in the air, you get some insane boost. Oh, I like that. Oh, there's a dragon's nest. Okay, hold up. That actually looks like a pretty big dragon nest. Oh, yep. There's a dragon. Oh, crap. I'm already on fire. Come on, bro. I did not have... I Back off, mate. I do not have any of my abilities set. Holy crap. Bro, I don't have any ability set. Hold up. Let's uh quickly... I've got all my earth. Okay, I've got all my earth. I can do this. Oh, no. I dropped my glider. Oh, pick it up. Okay, cool. I've got all my earth. Here we go. This is this is going to be me taking down a dragon with the new earth bending element wherever this dragon's gone. Buddy, where are you? There you are. All right, cool. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that was a pitiful throw. Oh, yo. Okay. It actually is working. Maybe? Yes, it's working. All right, sick. 
Wait, I can ride it? Hold on, I just hopped on the dragon. How did I hop on you? Ah, shit! <laughs> oh my god, my regeneration stone is saving my ass right now. Hold up, so... Does this work? It seems a little bit... It seemed a bit buggy. Okay, yeah, it seems a bit buggy when you... Oh my god, the fire lasts for so long! Okay, okay, so much for saving my ass. Oh, I'll get out of there. Okay. Oh shit! Oh my god, what did I just do? I think I might actually have to rely on just using one block, because that seems to work. But as you can see... Oh wait, has it got a cooldown? It has a cooldown. Oh, that makes way more sense now. That's why it was not working fully. Okay, that makes way more sense. Hold up, is this dragon actually mad at me? He doesn't seem to be really giving a damn, <laughs> in all honesty. Hold up, okay, cool, come at me. Yo, Ravine! Oh crap, no, that's a cooldown! Ah, shit! Oh, back off, back off, back off, back off. Our sword, save me! Oh shit! Okay, that could have gone better, I'll admit. There we go, right? at least we got, oh my god, 46. Wait, what size dragon was that? Stage three, okay. In all honesty, that was pretty easy with my regeneration stone and dragon armor. That was that was actually fairly easy. All right, in all honesty, guys. Oh man, that's so cool. This is probably where I'm going to leave the video. I hope you did enjoy it. You know, we got, I got my item sorting room pretty much done. I just need to get the art, like the actual style of the room done next, which is up to you guys. I wanna hear some, feedback and let me know just ideas you have where you got to check out all the new elements and check out what their bendings look like and next video Nathan and I will be having our fire bending fight finally and depending on who wins that depends on who becomes the avatar if I win I become the avatar if I wait what's this is this a oh no it's the that's okay that's the roguelike dungeon that's it for this video I hope you did enjoy it if you want to see the next part even sooner the fight of fire against Nathan. If you want to see that even sooner, you know what to do. Make sure you click like on this video. And if you want to see any other videos from me, you know what to do. You got go check my channel out. Go check my channel out. You know, just click that subscribe button. You know what? I'm trying to hit 100k before the end of the year. So any help I can get would be a, very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy this. My name is Troy and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.